I like to be reminded of older techniques or card making ideas and then update them with new tools we have now for even better cards and then share them with you here on my YouTube channel. Hello and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards on YouTube. I am Karen Hashik and I recently found some old 12 by 12 scenic sheets of designer paper and was reminded of a spotlight technique a local instructor shared with us years ago with that paper. We picked a part of the scene that we wanted to highlight and die cut it out of the front of the card and then reinsert it into the inside of the card like this one. So you see the scene and then this piece is on the inside of the card popped up and then it is part of the front as well and then we did a little sponging to have it stand out so you pick whatever part of the scene you want to have stand out and then you add a little sponged inks on the highlighted shape um, I love my stitched dies that have stitching on both the inside and the outside of the frame shape like this one so the positive and the negative have the stitching and I think that that really adds more interest to the spotlighted part. And of course, those weren't available um, years ago. Um, and then by adding uh, more die cuts like the birds and the stitched piece and the inside, and again, all those types of dies I didn't have years ago. Um, so they're even better than the ones I made with this technique back then. I never have enough masculine cards, so this paper and technique is perfect for making some for my stash. Of course, you could use any paper you might have on hand, and you could highlight a um, butterfly or a flower or anything. So that was my first card. This is a thinking of you card and again I used the double stitched or in this day that in this case pinpoint um, dots on that cabin that I highlighted and added a sentiment and some um, birds and then on the inside you have that beautiful scene and you could write your message there. Of course, we don't have to cut a stitched shape. Um, for this um, card, I cut out my brother's name. And um, so, the, kind of like the uh, eclipse technique somewhat, um, on that pretty scene. And then when he opens it, it has his name and a happy birthday message. Again, cut out with stitched dies there um, for nice detail. Um, so the name has that pretty scene. Um, he has worked in conservation all his life, so I know he's going to love this card. Slimline cards are hot right now, and I made two out of one piece of scenery paper. So if you see, these two um, were pieces of the ones that I have are 12 by 12. And um, I cut out um, two slim lined fronts. And then on this one, I highlighted the bottom part and have the sentiment on your day um, there on the inside and the outside of the card with that neat stitched um, highlighted area. The uh, Slimline cards, of course, fit into a legal size envelope, and I um, this one is that beautiful deer. Um, I was looking at it, and I'm going, I don't want to, like, put a bullseye on his face and highlight just his face. I like the idea of having the whole deer, but then on the bottom, I cut out today out of that paper, and it says, enjoy today, so that could be a birthday or other special occasion. This is what a typical piece of the 12 by 12 scenery paper looks like that I have. So it had that kind of gold top there. I think these were designed to be scrapbook pages. But, um, and they are by uh, Sugar Tree. Um, and these are older papers that a friend and I had for this technique. Um, but of course you can use any paper that you might have but I can typically get two cards out of one sheet and um, as I did here so this is the card I made out of this part and I had this uh, neat shaped die um, can't remember who's from but anyway um, and then um, the scene and the birds there and then when you open it up um, we have thinking of you with that fun cabin. So anybody who likes the woods or cabins would like that card. 
And then this is the card that um, I'm going to make with you to show you how easy this is to do. Um, so I have this piece of paper cut. Um, I decided for this one I'm going to frame it on a um, square card base. Um, I believe this is five and a half by five and a half and then this is five and a quarter by five and a quarter and of course you can choose whatever uh, size you would like. So my first step is to glue on the hello. It's a scripty hello from Tonic and I've always liked I love these dies and um, it has a long end there that I will have to trim off so I'm going to add this with some glue hello and that nice scripty font and cut off those little ends and now I am going to attach let's push that down a little harder here this to the front of the card Normally when I use this permanent tape roller, I just go around all four sides and that's plenty to hold it on. But because we are cutting an oval out of there, um, I need to have tape all over it. So, or glue, whatever you choose of course to attach your cards. And then I am going to cut an, a stitched oval out of the front in the part that I want to highlight. These, these double stitched um, dies are from Cat Scrappiness. And again, I just love the inside and outside stitching um, and that's the kind of die that I use almost all the time. I just think it adds so much more interest than the plain ovals or circles or squares um, and I do not have a my Gemini on in the camera I, it's right over here um, and I don't really have uh, room to show you that but I'll run it through here quick So this stitched oval fits in here and we'll go through to the center of the card. Um, I decided to just put a piece of that uh, top of that designer paper here for me to sign on this card. And um, this of course would be optional but I like the look of adding just a little bit of ink all around that stitching just to have it stand out just a bit more. And you can choose also to add just a little bit of color around the inside of this hole. And then um, we're going to add some mounting tape um, to raise this. Um, I sometimes use pop dots, but in this case I don't want it to be raised too high um, 
just a little bit so it kind of fits into the front. So now we're just going to apply this through that hole so the seam continues from the front to the inside but yet is highlighted which is um, why I'm calling this a highlighting technique. And then we just have some birds that we're going to attach. That birds was a Sizzix die. Um, and I just thought that was a nice touch to add to our scene here. So our card is complete. Um, it's a lovely masculine card, although it could be used for any um, hello purpose. And then when you open it, the oval scene is in the inside and you can si sign your message there. So you can see how it is so easy to use your die dies to create some great masculine cards with pretty scenic designer paper and this spotlighting technique. I hope my cards inspired you to try this. Thanks for watching, sharing, and subscribing, and thanks too for helping me share the joy of creativity.